everybody in here sitting here in the tiny house just finished my coffee and I'm getting ready to go outside check the chickens do some chores and whatnot here's the little peepers one two three one two all three the black ones yeah there's the fourth white one over there they're just doing really good mama's teaching them well I need to get them. I feel bad all the way up twice yesterday. Look at You're doing a good job, Miss Prissy. She's not, she's beginning to understand that I'm no threat. Eventually I'll get closer shots of them, but look. adorable they are. There's Dot. I can't wait to go in and pick them up. But they've got plenty area to explore back here. So cute. Woo! Four eggs already. Pretty good. This is one project I got done. Yeah, a little bit of redneck ingenuity right there. Um, I got the wheel down underneath of that. I probably should have put another wheel over there to help support it. Um, I didn't think I need to, but I may go back and do that eventually. Right now, it just rests on that. This is too high off the ground. Judy will be able to get out underneath of it. She will. I know she will. So I'm just going to put a little bit extra piece of fencing. Hi, Papa. Oh, he's still shedding so bad. This is one of his favorite places to sit. Um, just put a little bit of extra fencing on the front of that. I need to get some more staples for my staple gun. But all I did is put these little things on that the lovely Miss Donna B sent. She sent some smaller ones too, but they didn't they didn't even fit around the post. There's no way I could have connected them. Um, so I've just done this. It's just an easy, quick, simple fix. And I think once I get the other wheel on, it's gonna be even better. So it makes it just so much easier than having to lift it up. Here, excuse me, Papa. Oh, I'm not gonna open the gate right now. Um, and then at nighttime, I just I can just wrap a bungee around it, keep it close. Now you may be wondering why I've got it this part against this fence post. Well, this had to go this way, so it could turn. Um, this is a little bit bigger than the area between the posts. Plus, um, I kind of want it this way because I'm not keeping people from getting in. You know what I mean? I'm keeping dogs from getting out, so if Judy or somebody jumps up on this, it's just gonna go against this fence post, and uh, I don't think they'll be able to get out, so. And I did plant a few more things. I got some lemon balm. I'm gonna plant an esturtium here and here. Uh, lemon balm there. Oh, look it. I got a little flower on my strawberries. Uh, transplanted a little thyme. One thing of Good morning, Romeo. I went ahead and put one rosemary there. It'll be all right. And more bee balm. And then, oh yes, I planted viola flowers, viola, however you say them, right there, and right there, and right there. It's coming along, isn't it? Over here, I have planted, yep, calendula. Um, that's sage, I think I'm gonna, it's going kind of slow. That's the old rosemary. I planted one rosemary there. And look how beautiful my oregano is growing. I put some more calendula right there. More rosemary. I moved this one from here to over there just to kind of space them out a little bit more. So hopefully I'll have some beautiful flowers growing. Look at here. These little spent pots fit perfectly on top of this here thing. I don't know if it's a really good idea. The, the front fence gate is too wide to be able to do this. I may try and do something like this, I don't know. But for right now, they're just being stored right there. I have planted some more veggies out here on the outside of this fence. This area gets a lot of sun almost all day long. I've got one black beauty, I think it is. Yep, eggplant plant here. I actually bought this from the store because my seedlings aren't coming up very well. Um, I may have to replant some seeds because I think the roots were damaged when they got waterlogged. So I got eggplant. I think these, same thing with the jalapeno peppers. I went ahead and planted some jalapeno peppers 
in these pots. Um, these are a little bit bigger. I put two in. If they start su suffering, I will take one out. We'll just see how that goes. And over here, I planted sweet banana peppers. I love them. I had forgot all about them. So these are out here. And over here, the buckets that were holding up this uh, solar panel, I just planted some tomatoes. Yep, two tomato plants. I want to have a lot of tomatoes this year. And my seedlings, once again, roots got waterlogged. And um, so I planted these. Hopefully I'll get more tomatoes this year. The wren is still sitting in that box back there. And yesterday it was weird. I came out, it was a little bit earlier than this. And I was working with something not too far from the shed. I didn't go into the shed. Oh, it was the shower thingy. I was working on that. And there was a bird, looked like a wren, that kept almost like charging at me. You know, just coming at me and very close. And I'm like, whoa, what's up with this wren? And then I looked and the mama wren was still inside on the nest. So I think that that was Papa Wren coming to scare me away because I think he is the one that's going back and forth to that nest bringing the mother wren food. Isn't that cool? Over here, I have, I went and bought some cayenne red pepper plants because again, I waterlogged all of their <laughs> roots. Uh, so I just wanted to get a head start. I have left, well, I've left two little bunches back in there. I don't think they're going to grow though. Um, and I just planted six plants right here in at least one bucket over here. There are, yes, there's more of the cayenne that I grew from seed. So that should be sufficient to see if it'll work out. I don't know if you noticed, but see that little thing on the top? That's going to be a seed. Eventually this will lean over and hopefully plant itself into the soil. If it doesn't do it, if it leans out over, I'll train it to go back into the soil. So all of this will be like an onion patch. <laughs> Wild onion, very cool. And over here, I've left four beefsteak tomato clusters. If they grow, they grow. If they don't, I'll just pull them. But I planted four more tomato plants over here. I took off a bunch of their bottom leaves and I can tell right now I'm gonna have to go and take a few more off because you really don't need those all the way down at the bottom there. Hopefully they'll grow better, but yeah. So I planted those and these onions are doing great. Look at you guys, they're growing. This is my first time growing onions of this kind. So yes, that makes me happy, lick it, lick it. Over here, I planted those multicolored carrots. I may have mentioned it before, but am I already getting sprouts? Look at that. And radishes, those white radishes. Oh, beans, look at my beans. Finally, they're coming up. Oh my gosh, these are pole beans. I just pray everything goes well. But look it. Am, is that a radish? I don't think it's a, it can't be a radish. It can't, oh look at there's a bean over there. Um, I don't think, I think that those are weeds coming up. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to let them grow and just see. But look at almost in every spot, these beans are coming up. Look, it's starting to peek through. I'm happy. You know what? I am going to save these for next year. Yes, I am. I'm going to save these and start seeds in them next year. The rest of this stuff is my poor, sad garden that totally got basically flooded. But the arugula is still trying to grow. That's the only two that are left. And you know what? I've been watering these. I'm seeing little tiny things that are coming up. They may be weeds. I don't know. A couple things there. They may be green peppers. These may be green peppers. I think that's grass. I have no idea what's over here, but something's finally coming up. Now here, there's something there and something there. So I don't know, maybe I'll keep watering these and these are more cayenne red peppers. You can just tell they're not doing well. I think it might just take too long for the plant to repair itself. It's probably better just to start over. Anything over, oh yeah, that one thing. So whatever doesn't sprout, I'm gonna put in a Willy Wonka garden and just see what happens. And those cuttings that I took out from here and there. I'm gonna plant them somewhere too and just see if they grow. This is a cucumber and bush bean bucket. And look, I got one coming up, another one coming up, another one, another one. I think that's the only places I planted them. Yay for bush beans. 
I put another kind of tomatoes in here. They were the ones that came in those little seed packets. It didn't tell what kind of tomatoes they are. So I planted a bucket of these just to see if they'll grow. And over here, multi peppers. Mom sent me some seeds. I planted a whole bunch of multi peppers down in there. So hopefully those will grow. And over here, look at this beauty berry. It's going looking gorgeous. I wonder, should I cut this off? Um, but back behind here, I planted some sunflowers. So we'll see if that works. Look at you guys. I went foraging. They love this stuff. Snails, slugs, and worms. Yummy. All right, guys, here you go. Have at it. Ew. They're going crazy. There's plenty. I don't know. Has it been, what, 10 seconds and they're gone, basically? Ew, got to wash my hand. Look at Papa just chilling out in his little shade area. <laughs> I wonder if Judy will do that when she gets here. Let's see if I can do a demonstration of all I have to do. I can put some handles on this, but basically all I have to do now is push it and push it closed. So much easier. Oh my goodness. Thank you, Miss Donna. I almost forgot to tell you guys, I saw my first snake of the season. I was coming back from Mr. Lucas and I was walking up my drive and I would say I got about 100 feet from the back of my truck and there it was. It was one of those big black snakes. And I think that it's, I think it's a black racer. It moved very quickly. It was pretty big. It wasn't as big as the one that was on my porch. But you know what? I didn't even freak out. You know why? Because it was running away from me as soon as it felt the vibrations on the ground of me coming up the drive. And it just went up and over the hill and I haven't seen it since. It kind of bothered me because it was so close to the chicken coop in the chicken yard. But it wasn't traveling towards them. It was going away. So that's good. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.